Just walking in the rain Getting soaking wet Torturing my heart By trying to forget Just walking in the rain Guys, I'm on another little pub walk in Essex and I'm in the little village of Gosfield which is just north of Braintree in the north of the county. It's meant to start from the Green Man pub which is behind me but as you can see there's no signs of life. That's because he's shut down. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's another walk on out of uh, this pub walk's book where the, the pub's closed down. So uh, it's a four and a quarter mile walk. So it'll be starting from here and finishing here. I've got to be in work at 5 p.m. Uh, later on this evening. It's about quarter past one now. Uh, other news, not outdoor related I know, but as you can see, I've got rid of the beard. But it'll be coming back, don't worry. <laughs> So before the Green Man closed down, it was a pub since 1839. There is a little bit of everything on this walk. It begins from the village of Gosfield and passes its ancient church before taking a footpath with a view of Gosfield Hall, which is a grand stately home that was a sanctuary for French royalty following the French Revolution. A walk through a disused airfield built for the bombers of the American Air Force during the Second World War and into woodland leads on into open countryside and to a nature reserve before returning to the village pub where some excellent food is on offer. Yeah, not anymore, but apparently I've just seen down the road there is the King's Head and that looks very much open so we could pop in there. To accompany this walk you're going to want OS Map 195 Braintree and Saffron Walden, Housed and Great Dunmo. Okay, right, let's get ready to ramble and let's get ready to walk. So this is the King's Head and this one's very much open. It looks like a nice little pub so what I'll probably do is get the walk done and then hopefully if this is still open, stop in for a pint on the way back. This is the little parish church of St Catherine, the present building dating from 1435. As you can see it's having a bit of restoration work done on the tower at the moment. We're inside the little parish church of St Catherine at Gosfield. So to me it looks like it could be Catholic, I'm guessing. actually quite a big church from the outside it doesn't look that big but there's like sort of another room going off over there some large tombs as well and there's a model of a World War II bomber of course Gosfield airfield is just up the road uh, we'll in fact be walking through that so really nice stained glass windows the organ I'm trying to stop it from uh, refocusing <laughs> lit some candles there it's nice to be out of the rain for a little bit and then the font is in the tower
heading across this field going past uh, Gosfield Hall which in the centre of the screen you should just be able to see it through the trees it's no longer open to the public except by private arrangement and it was first built in Tudor times but later became home to the French royal family after the French Revolution and at the end of the 18th century so yeah they used to hide out in there <laughs> it's pretty cool just down this little concrete lane from the entrance to Gosfield Hall we're turning left along this footpath and we're entering the woods we've come out just over there and we're turning right along this huge concrete track and we're now on part of the disused airfield at Gosfield built in 1942 for US Bomber Command but closed just four years later after the end of the Second World War sadly there are no buildings left standing but a network of runways still exists and the walker follows the line of one such runway the concrete track for some distance We're now entering Brokes Wood. It's just outside of Sybil Headingham. And yeah, we'll be heading heading through Brokes Wood and then we'll be on the return leg back to the Green Man at Gosfield. It's located three miles from Halstead and five miles from Braintree and it's one of the most varied woods in Essex. The majority of the wood is an ancient woodland site and has probably existed since the end of the last ice age, 12,000 years ago. The earliest reference to Rubrosh wood is found in 1191 when it was granted to the prioress of Castle Headingham. The woods were part of the Courtauld estate for many years until it was bought until it was bought in 1956 it has on average 200 tons of timber sustainably harvest per year and they've even found medieval pottery sites within the wood itself corn and wheat fields here, nothing to see. <laughs> We've uh, come out of uh, Brokes Wood, headed along the main road past the school and then turned left down, I think it was called Russell's Road, turned right along a stony footpath and I've been following that which then bleeds into this grass path past these two rather uninteresting fields. <laughs> They seem to be on all of these Essex pub walks, I'm afraid. Wind's picked up a little bit, but the sun has come out and it's stopped raining, so that's good. Right, we'll be heading into a Gosfield Nature Reserve soon. And then coming out of that, back at the pub at Gosfield. Okay, so this is Gosfield Nature Reserve. There's a nice little picnic bench over there. If I had time, I'd uh, stop and cook some lunch there. It's a six and a half hectare site and was used for the extraction of sand and gravel until the 1960s. And it was acquired by the Gosfield Parish Council in 1984 as a nature reserve. Um, it says there'll be like common carp, kingfishers, 
wavy hair grass and rose bait and willow herb in terms of flora and fauna so yeah, it looks like there's actually quite a lot here but so we're going to be heading almost immediately out of this um, through this footpath here right we're nearing the end it's time for the highlights uh, Brokes Wood the ancient woodland that was pretty cool uh, I mean there weren't a lot of remains at Gosfield Airfield but yeah so that's the other highlight as well um, and probably the pub when I get there um, just chatted to a really nice old man with his dog he wasn't weird um, he was chatting about the weather as you always do um, yeah that's the highlights <laughs> okay as you can see I'm back out of the King's Head in Gosfield, and that is where I'm heading to next for a pint so yeah hope you've enjoyed this one I'm going to leave the video here traffic's quite noisy I'm afraid yeah I hope you've liked this one cheers for watching see you in the next one see you later guys to the pub <laughs>